buying a home can be challenging in the best of circumstances. It's a hot seller's market all over the country and it's no different here in central Kentucky, making it even more challenging. We're going to give you seven tips to help navigate this crazy market and we're starting right now. Hi, we're Greg and Shelley Hansen with Hansen Home Team at Jane's Realty Group here in Elizabethtown. If this is your first time here, please like this video, hit that subscribe button, and tap that bell to get notified for future videos. Our market here has extremely low inventory. There just aren't enough houses listed for sale for the amount of buyers looking to buy, which translates into sellers increasing their prices and having more leverage. Tip number one, know your buying power. In this market, you have to be prepared to move quickly. That means having a proven realtor in your corner that knows the area and that local market. You need to have a pre-approval in hand, which gives you more buying power. Knowing your wants versus your needs, like do you want a three bedroom, three bath? Do you need to be in a certain school district or within a certain commute time from your work? With the inventory being so low, you need to figure out what's more important to you. You can always add another bedroom, but you cannot change the location of the house. Knowing what's most important to you will afford you the ability to know if you'll be able to offer on that property that day. Most agents will know that you won't know exactly what's important to you that very first time you go to see a house. It's going to take a few houses to figure that out. Tip number two, move quickly. You and your agent need to keep a constant eye out for new listings as they hit the market. If you see a house, send it to your agent immediately so you can check the status of that house. Sometimes that status isn't always correct online and your agent will have the most accurate information via the MLS, which is the multiple listing service. Have a plan or be ready to view this home ASAP. If you're not in the area, maybe your agent can either video it for you, do a FaceTime video, and or have a family member or friend go to view it with them. Be prepared to offer as quickly as possible. If you love this house, chances are other people love the house too. Tip three, pictures can be deceiving. So as I'm sure you've noticed, some of the houses have professional photography and some not so much. If you see a listing that checks all your boxes, but the pictures aren't so great, schedule to see it anyways. You don't want to miss out on your perfect house just because that listing had poor photos. All right, tip four, realistic expectations. It is rare for your first offer to get accepted in this market. The process is going to put you through a roller coaster of emotions. You're going to be excited, you're going to be sad, hurt, hopeful. It's going to run the gamut. By knowing that, hopefully this will help you try to manage your expectations. Tip five, clean offer. With it being a seller's market, you're going to want to avoid that low ball offer. In the past, we have always loved negotiating the lowest price for our clients. However, in today's market, if you really want that house, you're going to have to be prepared to submit your best offer first. To be in the game, you're going to need to be close or even over the asking price mm -hmm. and expect to accommodate the seller's needs like occupancy. They may need a longer closing period. Your agent is going to be your best source for that. They'll ask the listing agent what the sellers need. Tip six, contingencies. You may need to waive or shorten some of the contingencies to make your offer stand out to the seller. For instance, you can shorten the time frame on inspections. Some people are waiving inspections. We still highly recommend having one, but you'll need to be realistic on the repairs. The inspection report will tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly on the house. We suggest asking for repairs on major or safety related issues. You might consider having a contractor fix other items after closing. Unfortunately, in today's market, if you've got to sell a home to buy a home, you're already at a disadvantage as most sellers are not entertaining the contingency for you to sell your home before closing. Tip seven, buying a home is a huge decision. This is one of the biggest financial decisions you're going to make in your life. Try not to be carried away with the pressure to buy a home in this market and don't buy a house you don't love. This decision will have a financial impact on you for years to come. One of our favorite things to tell our clients is, love where you live mm -hmm. so you definitely want to find that house that you're in love with for years to come we hope you found this video to be helpful when buying a home in a seller's market for more information on home buying check out our ultimate home buyers guide there'll be a link in the description below 
Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tap that bell to get notified when we post new videos weekly right here on all things real estate related in Central Kentucky. See you next week. See ya. On how to navigate this crazy market. And we're starting right, right now. now. Why did you go that way? Because I had this in my hand. <laughs> you want to roll with it or? Well, we're kind of pointing at each other now. <laughs> right now. Okay. I just want to point. How's that sound? We're going to give you seven tips. <laughs> Why is this so wrong? <laughs> because I, I had this. All right. Okay. I can't do this and do the numbers at the same time. Then I'll do it. You do I'll seven. I'll do the numbers. I'm fine. Fine with okay. the numbers. Let's do that. Shelly knows how to count. It's going to take a few houses to figure that out. Boom. Bam. First shot. You like that? That's what's up. <laughs> My baby right there. At a house, you have to be permit. <laughs> Why can't I say prepared? Prepared. Why can't I say prepared? Like a boy scout. <laughs> Why can't be I prepared? <laughs> Why can't I say prepared? <laughs> oh man. Okay. 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 I didn't get it in enough. Let me right. try again. All right, here we go.